faculty and staff at the Texas Tech Vet School are officially moving into their new facilities. Tonight, KMR Local 4's Kaylee Green has the latest from faculty as they prepare to teach the inaugural class of veterinary students right here in Amarillo. And that is some good news for you tonight. The laboratory wing of the vet school still needs some work, but the East Academic Wing is ready for faculty and soon students. It's an inaugural class are pioneers, and uh, th they're excited to help write the page of history uh, that, uh, that that's it's occurring right now. Associate Dean for Clinical Programs Britt Conklin says they created a curriculum to develop clinical skills, not just knowledge. We're going to work hard at developing those students to uh, get ready for real practice, and we. Uh, we have a program that really gets there fast. So by the end of their third year, they look a lot more like a veterinarian that's fixing to graduate their fourth year because we put them out in a clinical rotation in their fourth year, and they actually have to add value and work within a practice. Assistant Professor of Behavior and Welfare Nicole Anderson is excited for this first class to get their start. So I actually do primarily research. So for me, I'll be looking at the students a little bit more in the capacity of getting them in labs, getting them hands-on with animals through a research lens, uh, watching behavior, and in the spring, I will actually begin teaching some veterinary level classes. The faculty stressing their excitement and the needs the vet school will hopefully meet. Veterinarians in this area, well, in a lot of rural and regional communities, really struggle with, with getting employees, skilled professionals, getting veterinarians. And so having this here will help develop a lot of those practices and help them function at a higher level. I think it's going to build some really great networks. I think it's going to help raise attention to this area. Yes, we might have the lowest population, but not when it comes to animals. And Conklin says when the vet school reaches full maturity, they'll have about 120 faculty and staff, and they could have up to 500 students, including veterinary students and grad students. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KMR Local 4 News. Andy. Kaylee, thank you. Students will arrive next week and then start a full week of orientation this coming Monday. The vet school says classes begin on the 16th.